What it do y'all, it's your girl Makeup and Travel and for today's video I am bringing you guys a declutter video. Um, so if you didn't realize that, if you haven't been watching my channel, I have been going through and reorganizing, what? Reorganizing my whole collection. Um, and in doing that, I just got to a point where it was like, you have too much. Like I know I have a lot of stuff, but like, there's a lot of stuff that I have not touched in a while and organizing it I just I wanted things to be more condensed um, and then also I'm going up uh, to graduation season of course um, to my alma mater and a bunch of my friends up there wanted some makeup so I decided to kind of go through my collection and see what I truly am not getting use out of and what I'm okay with getting rid of um, this makeup look I did record this eye look um, it will be a I, Instagram tutorial I kind of so I just did a haul um, which will probably up before or after this who knows um, but in the haul I had a different bronzer blush and lip product on but after hauling those items I wanted to kind of play around with a couple of items that I purchased so don't mind that but everything will be kind of put down below if you're wondering my lip product is a new lip product it's from um, unique beauty it's a liquid lipstick I think this is like more of their like um, pigmented lip gloss thing and it's in hazel because it hasn't dried down um, so I really enjoy this color it's like a orangey brown camel color and I think it adds something weird to this look because this look is pretty cool so anyways anyways um, if you're interested in seeing some of the things that I decluttered let's get into it so the first thing I decluttered was this ombre blush from wet n wild and this is in my Thai buy you a drink I thought I could use this as a blush and I mean I can but I haven't um, and it's pretty light. I mean, let's be honest. I haven't used it honestly since I depotted it So it's just time for me to let that go um, I also went through And got rid of a couple of singles I have a couple of friends that have been wanting some singles So I kind of am starting to like collect singles for them. These are some strobe cosmetic singles. I as much as I like, okay, I found a way to work with them, I still never reached for them after I figured out a way to work with them. So it's just time for me to let these go. So I took out the ones that I just was not a fan of. I am officially going to get rid of this or let, at least give somebody the chance to get this. This is the Oh Hubba Hubba um, eyeshadow palette from Bombshell Cosmetics. Um, I did enjoy the metallics, especially this metallic right here, which is in Blast. But that's honestly the only color that I truly enjoyed. All of the other ones, like the, the mattes were just very thin and I couldn't get them to really stick onto my lid. Um, and it just, yeah, I'm okay. It is scented. Um, like I said in the review, it's still scented. Next is the Hazina palette from Blush Tribe. Um, honestly, I just don't reach for it. I don't reach for it. It's a very pretty palette, um, but I have other palettes that incorporate these colors in a better way that I'm reaching for. So if somebody, if one of my friends wants this, they can have this. I won this palette and I just, I I used it a couple of times but never enough to justify keeping it. It's the Glam Reflection L'Amour palette from BH Cosmetics. This is what it looks like. It's a very pretty romantic-y um, eyeshadow uh, color scheme but like I said not something that I need in my collection. I also have this. This is the Blush Tribe Blossom palette. Um, I just was not a huge fan of this formula. Um, and I knew that going in because um, Angelica didn't give this the best review, but I still wanted to try it and I am okay. So if one of my friends wants it, they can definitely have it. 
I also this is a palette that I made purposely for my one friend um, I know she likes a lot of neutrals and she doesn't mind doing pops of color as shimmer so these are some strobe cosmetics singles and then a bunch of these are makeup geek um, I don't know why I purchased so many neutral makeup geek eyeshadows but I did so we're gonna get rid of that I'm giving her that Z palette too because I low-key hate that Z palette the the mirror is trash so yeah hopefully she doesn't mind that um this is the estee lauder illuminating primer i don't think i ever used this like ever um and one of my friends up in michigan has dry skin so i'm gonna give her that primer one of my sorority sisters was talking about wanting a morphe palette and she said that she wanted this exact palette um the jacqueline hill one i told her that i have it i didn't really use it all that much so i am going to ship this to her um and potentially some other products if she wants that because i mean it's honestly just sitting in my collection i try and use it but i truly don't finishing up with the eyeshadows i believe no this isn't even eyeshadows this is um blush uh i went weirdly and bought these um I, I did like a huge revolution order and this happened to be a part of it. These are a bunch of blushes and a highlighter. I never even put these on my face ever. So <laughs> it's time to let that go. Um, okay, next let's go into the face stuff. So I am gonna declutter this. This is the NYX Three Steps to Sculpt um, palette. So it has a highlighter, an under eye setting powder, and like a face or bronzer depending on your skin tone. I like the product, I just don't use it. I haven't used it in a really long time, so it's time to let it go. Then I have the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. Um, I liked the highlighter and the under eye setting powder, but this did not work for me. So it's time to let this go. I made a random ColourPop Z palette situation full of Morphe singles and like these are colors from like a Kat Von D palette. So I'm just gonna see if somebody who likes neutrals would want this. Okay, this is something I actually got new. Um, one of my friends says she wanted mascara, so I'm just gonna give her this set um, and she can have it. Okay, okay. Um, let's go through these highlighters. I am decluttering a good amount of highlighters. So I'm getting rid of this. This is the Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter in highlighter in rose gold lights i just don't need this highlighter i honestly i never liked the texture of it it's really hard and i just i don't need it so i'm getting rid of it this is the ofra highlighter in rodeo drive i don't know who i thought i was playing when i continued to keep this in my collection i never reach for it i don't do a spotlight highlighter so why do i have it so this is probably going to go to my pocket size best friend because she is the lightest person out of all of my friend group that is into makeup. So yeah. Um, this is not a highlighter. I'm also getting rid of this Dolce or Dolzura Sunrise highlighter. I like subtle highlighters, but this is just like, this ain't even, I just, uh, I just don't uh maybe i should maybe i can't keep this i mean it's just it's disappointing after hearing um amy loves makeup rave about this brand it just does not work okay i'm gonna keep this i know <laughs> decluttering decluttering where okay and then this is a highlighter that i told you guys was broken this is from be elegant cosmetics i'm not even gonna bother well i guess i can open it i think this was like named medusa or something it was a beautiful beautiful highlighter when you put it all together but it's it's smashed i'm not gonna use it time to throw this away so this is actually getting thrown away okay um in that field i just kind of want to talk about a couple other things that are just getting thrown away i bought a bunch of the nyx vivid bright um pots a couple of months ago i know it was last year um it might have been early last year anyways i bought a bunch of these they're not yeah, there you go um they're all dried out i did just get the Duraline, um but honestly 
I'm okay. I don't think it's going to be able to revive these to the satisfaction that I wanted. And honestly, a lot of them, the thing that I hated the most is that it just, it was hard to pick these up. So I'm okay. I'm just going to go ahead and declutter those. Um, some other things that I am like throwing away. I'm throwing away this Physician's Formula Brightening Complex um, Foundation in DN3. I purchased it. It was way too light for me, as you can see. I was using it as a concealer at one point. As you can see, I actually hit some pan right there. But every time I use this, my face gets a little like tingly and honestly i don't have time i don't have time to be getting tingly to be breaking out subtly or rapidly i know so this is going to be going in the trash i don't want anybody to get potentially a, no, no no trash trash you go especially because it's like a doe foot applicator i don't want to give that to a friend okay some foundations that i will be offering up to people i'm going to be offering this up to my friend that has dry skin this is a pretty oily bb cream so i figured she might enjoy that and then i also will be offering this up as well this is a demi matte foundation from ulta these both have like closed containers so i'm not like giving them any infection or bacteria from me the, you know what i mean so that's why i feel comfortable giving these away and all the other prada products i will be sanitizing hopefully <laughs> before i give it to them okay um my pocket size best friend will also be getting this if she wants it and i don't think she has it she'll probably want it um this is the amrezy highlighter it's too icy for me i don't know why i kept it i should have honestly returned it to um ulta or wherever i purchased it but i don't use it so i'm just gonna give it to her she will enjoy it yeah so she'll be getting definitely two highlighters from me um Oh, this is another thing I'm just throwing away. This is the Ulta um, eyeliner. I never liked this eyeliner, so yeah. Okay, um, I have some blushes. I'm getting rid of this Lorac Aura um, blush. It's just too light. It's it's no, it's just too light. So it's time for it to leave me. This Becca Rose Gold I do not like, especially because I have other Becca highlighters. I just do not like this highlighter at all. So it's time for this to go. Then we have the Sephora Blush and Fascinated. It is like a satiny blush, which I did enjoy about it, but I didn't, I just, no. It's time for it to go. Um, the one and only face powder that I have in here, it's a finishing powder. It's from e.l.f. and this is in the shade Deep. This is actually a little too deep for me. Every time I used it, it actually deepened up my foundation. So I don't want to keep it. I was hoping and thinking that I might get dark enough to use this in the summer. But if I have a friend that can use it right now, I'll go ahead and give it to them because I don't tend to use finishing powders anyway. So I can let this go. I forgot a foundation and this is the Too Faced um, Peach Perfect Foundation in Mocha. Um, I have, like I said, I have a lot of friends that are around my skin tone, if not my skin tone. Um, and this is a little too light for me, so I'm just going to let it go. Um, if nobody else can use it, I'll bring it back home and mix it with my Fenty um, foundation. But if somebody can use it, I'd rather give it to them. But these girls ain't got nothing. <laughs> Another foundation that's too light for me is this Sephora foundation in the shade Deep. Um, so if somebody else can get some use out of this, they I'll give it to them. I don't know why it's showing pan. I never really use this product that much, but yeah. Anyways, I will give that to them. I also have a micellar water that I never even opened. So if somebody wants it, they can have it. I have some singles, so I'll be putting these in that more empty Z palette with just the Strove cosmetic stuff, and I will be giving that to probably the same friend that wants singles because it's okay. I have this three-step masking kit. I have too many masks. I need to get rid of some of these, and this I, I never opened clearly, so I will be giving this to somebody. <laughs> I have an eyeliner pen. Um, I will be throwing this away. I don't want to give anybody an infection or anything like that. And I did use this eyeliner. So this will be going in the trash. 
and I'm throwing that away because it has a felt tip by the way same with this one this is the infallible paint liner I thought I would be okay with it because I only use this for like lip art and stuff but it drives me bonkers that it's a felt tip so this is going in the trash as well I have two Sydney Grace lip creams. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and throw these in the trash. These were in one of like my very first orders with them. I never used these. I didn't like the, well I did use them. I used it once and I didn't like the formula. It, you could feel the shimmer. I just, no, 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 no. So these are both gonna go in the trash. I have a concealer. Um, I'm. Oh, did I? Oh, I've used this. Oh no, this stays with me then. I did not know I used this. <laughs> well, this concealer will stay with me. Never mind. Not going to clutter. Thought I didn't use that concealer. Anyways, okay, next I have this Natural Radiant Base Lumiere. Um, once again, my friend that has dry skin, I'll give her this as well. She can have a couple of different options for primer and then foundation. And then last, same friend with the dry skin, the renovating antioxidant hydrating mask from pharmacy i never opened it um so she can have it so not too many items but also items that i just don't need um i don't know if they need brushes i have a whole bunch of brushes that are sitting on my desk i really don't i never reach for those brushes really um well the eye brushes the face brushes i reach for so depending on if they need any i might bring some up there but I'm just getting rid of things, reducing my load, um, and I feel better about it. Um, I have been hauling a decent amount lately just because of stress, but at the same time, I am getting rid of items. I have done a massive spring cleaning for me, like massive. Um, I never do spring cleaning, like ever. I've avoided it for, what, 25 years? <laughs> So this is a lot for me. Um, I have a huge pile sitting in the middle of my room of clothes, books, um, anything and everything that I'm just going to be getting rid of. So I'm very excited to be doing this. Um, and yeah, I think that's all I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this little declutter. Maybe at the end of the year, I'll do a declutter where we actually go through all my items. But since I've been doing that, I did it at the beginning of the year. I've now done organizing. I felt like it was a little too much to do yet another like go through my collection with me and declutter. So I felt like this was the best method. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, y'all, it has been real.